Hi, my name is Tierney Fitzpatrick and I'm with Online Solution. In this video, we're going to walk through how to create a purchase order, receipt that purchase order, and return that purchase order with Microsoft Dynamics SL. So first, let's get started and turn on our process manager. We're going to go to our orders module, order management, and click on process manager. Go ahead and click start until it goes idle. Then we can just minimize that to get it out of our way. Great. Now we need to create a purchase order. So we're going to go to our orders module, purchasing, and we're going to open purchase order maintenance. In our vendor ID field, we can choose F3 on our keyboard to give us our drop down menu. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose the very first one there. And go ahead and tab through until you get down to your line items. Our purchase for, that should be goods for inventory. Go ahead and tab over to inventory ID. Again, selecting F3 on our keyboard will give us our drop down menu. I'm just going to select the very first option there. Site ID should default in. Quantity, I'm going to choose two. Go ahead and tab through to see if there are any other required fields. And there are not. Good. Click Save. Make note of your purchase order number and click Finish. And we can go ahead and close that window. Next, we're going to open the Receipt Invoice Entry screen. In the PO Number field, we can choose F3 again on our keyboard. And we're going to go ahead and choose that purchase order that we just created and click OK. It should populate everything else in. Now we need to go ahead and fill in the quantity control and cost control at the document level. And the quantity control and cost control at the batch level. Go ahead and set your handling to release now. And save. Make note of your batch number. and finish. The insert level we're going to choose batch and click OK. Once that has processed completely, click OK. Great. Now we're going to do a return on that purchase order. So in the same screen, our receipt type this time will be return. In the PO number field, we can select F3 on our keyboard to show us our options. Again, you'll see the purchase order that we had just receded in and click OK. Next, we're going to go down to the PO line. Again, choose F3 on your keyboard to give you your options. I only have one. Go ahead and click OK. And that should populate everything else in. Please make note that a return can only be done against a receipt that has already been processed and released, and you can only return the quantity of what was receipted or less. So now we're going to go ahead and fill in the quantity control and cost control at our document level, and the quantity control and cost control at our batch level. Set the handling to release now save and finish. Again our insert level we want that to be batch and click OK. Once the process is completed click OK. This concludes the demonstration on how to create a purchase order, receipt that purchase order, and return that purchase order with Microsoft Dynamics SL. I hope this video was helpful.